kind of an important thing. So, smile, eye contact. I already gave you the secret, secret word that's part of service. It's, you guys are servers. You go to a restaurant, what do they call them? Servers. Why do they use that word? Okay. We're there to serve them, man. They can pick anywhere to go take the car and they can pick anywhere to do business. We gotta treat them like we're serving them. So that starts with them not thinking that, and I'm really not trying to attack anyone, I'm just trying to share with you what I've noticed. That means that they have to feel like they're not doing us a favor coming in. So from the moment they walk in, so there's two ways to greet. So if I'm an advisor and someone comes in for service and they're standing there, I could be on my computer, I could be on a thing, Maybe I'm really busy doing something. And I can look over at them. And they've seen that I made eye contact. But it takes me two or three minutes to wait them over. Okay? That's pretty normal. Or, hi Irene, gonna be about two seconds here. Or hi, just give me one second. Just gonna finish this work order. Hi Irene, come on over. My name's John Cott. Come on over with me. Come over to my desk. And I bring them over. Okay? So no more waving people over to your station. Move around, guys. Go greet them at the door, where they're standing. Just like you would if you invited someone into your house. That's a greeting. So you're gonna smile, I mean million dollar smile. Okay? Now, greetings also can happen on the phone, correct? It's okay? Parts people, service people. We also greet people on the phone. They have to feel your smile. If she doesn't know, or the person on the other line doesn't know you're smiling, then you have failed. They have to know that when you're on the phone, they can visualize your smile. That's the culture we want. David, do you like making outgoing calls? Sure. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. You don't like it. Okay? Try it with a smile. Try it with a smile. Try making an outgoing call to a customer with a smile. I'm really happy just before you call them. Just before you call them. And you get a hold of someone and you're actually really happy. Wow, how's it going? And they feed, feed off that energy. It makes the call go completely different. I don't know. Hello? Uh, do you have a 2016 Santa Fe store? Okay. No, I don't. Right? Okay. It's a completely different <coughs> scenario. So we have to, they have to feel our smile. We have to be happy, guys. Okay. Who here has a bad day at work sometimes? <laughs> Who here has a bad day at home sometimes? Okay. Who here has a personal issue right now? That they think about during work hours. Okay. We're all human. Everybody put up their hand. If you didn't put up your hand and you don't have a personal issue, then something's going on wrong. This guy's got a broken hand. <laughs> anyway, my point is, guys, that they have personal issues too. Doesn't everyone has it? We can't let it affect us on how we give the customers their experience. Okay? You guys are part of a movie prop. You guys are professional actors. We have to give that customer the best experience possible when they walk in, no matter what position we are. Okay? And there's the screening part, it's called a two foot rule. I don't care which position you're in, I don't care what you do in the dealership. If you walk past someone within two feet, you better say hello and you better have a smile on your face. Because that's part of the culture. You're part of the movie prop. So I could be a tech going in to talk to this advisor and there's a customer over there. Hey, how's it going? Doesn't matter what position, you have to do it. I gotta get some checks signed, Rami. Okay, still gonna say hello if I run into two or three people. Doesn't matter, you gotta say hello, two foot rule. If you come within two feet of anybody in the dealership, you gotta say hello. Does that seem okay, guys? Yeah. Yep. Can I get everybody's commitment on that? Yeah. Okay.